30 minute 10 second game bit of an aggressive opening from my opponent but it looks like the pieces haven't been as well supported so we might have an opportunity to castle king safety the two bishops the opponent is moving very fast it is a 35 minute 10 second game could have actually taken this pawn because we've got a two on one with the queen and the bishop I've noticed quite well we can still do it I suppose his queen takes our pawn and is on our bishop we can bring the queen back then and he's, we've got the pin thrown to his king so we're going to capture this pawn here it's one, one of the key things that I keep observing Oh, it's actually um, going for the exchange so we are material up so we can probably trade down now one of the key things I've noticed from when I'm playing the games and then I look back on the, the videos that I've created there's a high percentage of games where basically I miss loads of loads of opportunities I could do captures I could do attacks I could place my pieces in a better position and I don't actually see it in the game but it's annoying then afterwards then I'm sat there going why didn't you just move that or why didn't you just take that pawn and put the king in check and then you'd be able to take the bishop all sorts of things so it's really weird and I'm trying to get into that now that's the next stage of my development is really just look properly on the board as to what I can actually do put a two on one here on this pawn he's got a two on one support so we can't just take straight off we'd need to get another one involved so doubling the rooks maybe uh, he's, he's already sorted that out but this bishop could potentially go and attack his rook so I'll still go for the doubling up he's doubling here so he's taken away a soldier from protecting his pawn And as I always chuckle to myself, I've got the two bishops. Hmm. He's attacking the bishop. Our pawn can't take back. So because we do have more material on the board, I think we can just trade down like we've mentioned. And we can grab the pawn now because this pawn is blocking any power base that the rook has got. And the bishop, like we say, can come here, put a check on the king. Rook's got no support at the moment, so do we actually move for... I, I like owning files. If I move here, then his Rook will obviously maybe come and protect the pawn. But then we can put a 2 on 1. 
on the pawn. His rook then probably comes here looking to come down and take these pawns. We will have a check on his king. Uh, okay, let's give that a try. Okay, so as we mentioned, so then a two on one, but then I do believe his rook comes here. We can get a check on the king, but his rook maybe can come down and do some devastation on these pawns. But do we have enough, like we said? We'll go for the check first. And then, do we want to move the king up? Are we going for a slow burn or a... Let's advance the pawn. Adva past pawns want to be pushed. King safety. Oh, sh oh, the bishop. This is what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about right there. Right there negating the fact that the bishop was protecting this square oh give me strength just put the rook here that is exactly what I'm talking about for my games I'm going to be kicking myself after this game now as well oh oh dear me I, oh and he's put it there this time now we're focused so we can grab the rook now and they've resigned okay so that is the type of game I'm trying to improve on like I mentioned before any of it kicked off it's taking time because in my head I'm just thinking yes I'm going to move it up if the rook does come down but I didn't look as to what damage the bishop can do the bishop is covering that area it seems so simple but when you're actually in the game it I'm so focused on getting my pawns up, you know, defending these pawns, working up, keeping my king safe. But in reality, the opponent had damaged themselves. Mm. 